So time for some rankings of these four movies. Uh, three of which were very interesting and one of which definitely had an advantage going in. Will the advantage prove effective, unlike the last two seasons of Survivor? I don't know. Sick reference. Yeah, Jordan is stupid fucking advantage. Yeah, Jordan has the advantage here. <laughs> I was actually talking about Josh in his video game movie. Ah, yes. Yes. Of course. Um, okay, so, getting right into my ranking, um, I want to say that I'm ranking these movies in a very different way this round, um, because they are all movies that I laughed out loud at the ridiculous things that happened in them. It happened in Cabin in the Woods, it happens in Kingsman, it happens in Gremlins, and it happens in Need for Speed. So, if it's going to be that kind of appreciation for all of these movies, you have to think about other things. Um, and one big one that I'm putting in there that it factored a lot into my final ranking is um, how much would I want to watch this movie with someone who hasn't seen it before. It's kind of like with rewatchability, but with like an added twist. Like, what movie would I rather watch with somebody else for the first time? So just kind of getting into it a little bit. My fourth, Gremlins. I'm sorry. Um, it's a classic Ryan pick. You nailed it, bro. <laughs> Congratulations, you kept the tradition alive for classic Ryan um, picks. <laughs> it had all those ridiculous moments, but all the other movies had better characters, in my opinion. Um, the characters weren't as dumb, and if they were dumb, it wasn't entirely their fault. So, that's why I had to put it forth. Um, third place, Cabin in the Woods, for me. So, I have a group of friends that doesn't tend to like horror movies, and for that reason, I don't feel like I would want to watch that movie with other people for the first time as much as I would want to put my number two, Need for Speed. Um, a big one that came into this, my dad, he loves cars, my entire family loves cars, they all love cars, they love ridiculous car movies, and they all love Fast and the Furious movies, and I'd be like, you wanna know a movie that's kinda like Fast and the Furious, but isn't, and just has some good old cool cars doing some cool things, and Lincoln Park. Um, I kind of glossed over Captain in the Woods there. Um, yes, I'm aware that that was my movie, uh, but it's just not my genre. Um, it is the best horror movie I could have picked. I, I do believe that, um, but if I'm being true to the rankings, I have to put it third. I have to. Um, so, like I said, Need for Speed 2 for the reasons that I mentioned, um, which leaves Kingsman at number one for me. It was an easy decision. It was the best movie this week by far, in my opinion. Um, I'm surprised that I put Need for Speed second again. Like, that's, that's me proving that I'm trying my hardest to be unbiased here. Um, but, yeah, Kingsman, in my opinion, deserves it. And if Kingsman were not to win this week, I would call shenanigans. Um, it, it deserves a win. Um, even if it was luck of the draw, Kingsman, I think Kingsman should pull a four, but that's me. So, like a, a four total, like four first places. So. Yeah, that's Perfect me. Perfect 16. Perfect 16. <laughs> you mean Tusk? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only movie to ever do it was Tusk. Two, two Pete. No, no movie's ever got a perfect four, though. No movie's got a perfect four. We got a five. Yep. So it is. Uh, it was your fault, Ryan. Right? It's my fault. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you put my production about Pitch Perfect. Ah, uh, yes, you. I, I believe that Thanks. was my fault. Thanks. Oh, fine. Jeez, man, it's four. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I didn't really have like a deciding fact in between everything. I kind of had these uh, grouped together in two different sections. Uh, uh, the two being Captain in the Woods and Kingsman, and the other two being Need for Speed and Gremlins. Uh, and I think it was a little, uh, there wasn't much at all disparity between the two groups, but uh, I did see this. Uh, those two groups being really close to the, uh, the other one within the group. Uh, so for between Need for Speed and Gremlins, uh, it was it was tough, but I'm gonna have to put Gremlins as four. Sorry, Jordan. Classic Ryan pick. You nailed it, buddy. Uh, which would mean that Need for Speed is number three, uh, and, and that just thinking back to uh, I felt enjoyment from watching both movies, uh, but. The type of enjoyment, I guess you would call it, was uh, more favorable in Need for Speed. I enjoyed more of the race, like, I like racing movies, action racing movies, uh, police chases, like, I was, I was very surprised by uh, my movie, I think, more than Gremlins. Yeah, that's good reasoning enough. Okay, uh, so then that leaves Cabin in the Woods and Kingsman Secret Service. Uh, this one's tough because I've seen Cabin in the Woods four times, I think. Uh, and that's huge because I enjoy it equally every single time. Uh, but at the same time, I, I enjoy Kingsman, and that's uh, where it's tough because that's my first time seeing it. So I wanted to try to think of maybe in four times will I enjoy Kingsman as much as I still enjoy watching Captain in the Woods. And I think I would. Uh, so my deciding factor for that uh, was more uh, based on the genre. So I will be putting Kingsman as number one. Wipe that smirk off. I'm sorry. Yes. You didn't earn this. <laughs> yes, I did. You you were gift. And I could I could two ranks. I could sabotage it. and put it as number two, and I would have a good reason to put it as number two, uh, because I do think Captain of the Woods could equally uh, would have just as equal of an argument as being number one as Kingsman would. Uh, I agree, but I will put it as Kingsman as number one. Alright, my turn. Um, this was tough. This was a tough week. Because two of these movies, I give perfect scores. Like, they're top of the line movies. And a third one is very close, just underneath them. And then the fourth movie is still really good. Not quite the same heights as the other three, but... So this is really tough. But uh, fourth place is Need for Speed. Yeah, it's um, I, Don't be wrong, I loved it a lot. No, and I watched it again. Um, but it was... This is... This is a really solid week of movies. Um, and then three would be Gremlins. Gremlins, I gave like a 9 out of 10. I love Gremlins. Um, but it's just up against two of two of the best movies in my opinion that we watched, period. Uh, again, I gave both of them perfect scores. Now this is where I got tricky because we have my favorite genre versus my favorite type, or like my, my favorite movie series, basically. James Bond versus horror. <laughs> and I was like, how the <laughs> fuck do I decide between these two? Uh, I've seen both movies probably uh, like four to six times in, in there, I can't remember exactly. And it, it came down to basically just mini, minuscule flaws. Like, not even, like, to the point where I wouldn't even normally hit, like, point them out. It, like, just very nitpicky stuff. Uh, and it was driving me nuts. Like, I, I was freaking out trying to decide, and I wanted to be completely unbiased, because I know Kingpin is my movie, but Cabin in the Woods was a movie I considered picking, and, you know, so I, I, I've, try, I've tried to be as unbiased as possible, but in the end, I gave Cabin in the Woods 2, Kingsman 1, but it was the hardest decision I've made, and I promise you I am being completely unbiased when I made that decision. Me too. I gave Cabin in the Woods 3. <laughs> so I would, I would object to it more if uh, two people haven't told you that as well. So, I, it, there was no shenanigans here, I swear to you. But it was the toughest decision I've had. And it was the closest call. Alright, right, come on, Jordan. Gremlin's number one. Oh, God. So, as <laughs> soon as Ryan said that he was picking Kingsman, I knew that 
nobody had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew that I didn't need to worry about picking a movie that was going to blow everyone's mind as far as a great movie is, such as like a Kingsman, or, you know, like yeah. that type of a movie. And so I knew I couldn't pick that with what I would get. Nope. There's no classic Ryan movie in the world that could beat Kingsman. No, nope, so, there's not. Nope. Yeah. See? So I just, that's, from, that's from the man himself. Heard from the donkey. So then I... <laughs> I just... I don't know. Gremlins is four. Wow! Yeah. Alright, well. Because... All of, thir all of the three other movies... Were just such... In my opinion, better movies than Gremlins. And so, like... I'm not even, like, I, I'm glad that I hit and exceeded what I was going for with Gremlins. But just the th other three movies were better movies. You hit the ceiling. And on, and on a different week, this might have gotten maybe second. You did literally as good as you could have. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, thank you for picking Gremlins. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I am thoroughly happy that you picked it, and I didn't feel like it was a waste of time. This is yeah. probably my favorite fourth place movie. Mm -hmm. If not, like, a close second. I don't remember, like... What was last week? Because I thought last week was... Last week's fourth place movie was The Ringer. The Ringer. Okay. I'd rather watch The Gremlin over The Ringer. What else I, I think I went to The Ringer. Before that, it was... The other close oh. one was uh, Soccer Begins. Before, okay, A Night's so, Tale. Soccer Begins. Was the fourth place before yeah. last. A Night's Tale got fourth. Then it was A Snowpiercer. Then it was Heart Heavy Rain. Then it was uh, Star Wars. Then it was... Tusk, then Shooter, then Tremors, then another one. So, I think that this is my, this is close for me, like, as far as fourth place to go. Up there. I, I love A Knight's Tale. I don't know how it got last. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But this this was a really Second. good movie for fourth place, like, if that's I what agree. ends up happening. I, I, I think that's a sign of a good week. Is that you like every movie? If you like the fourth place movie a lot, then we we did what we were supposed we to do. Yeah, yep. and we could have just as easily said, "If you guys, me and Jordan could have just dive bombed on this thing." Yeah, yeah. so yeah. easily. Yeah. <laughs> I well, don't so oh, easily. Oh, come on, horror movie. <laughs> I could, could have dive bombed yeah, on yeah. this too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only one who had which honestly was Ryan. Which, which honestly, it might not even change the standings. <laughs> 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 and in my defense, though, in my defense, I know you guys. Like, whatever. You picked the hat. Yeah, and it was I did. Pure luck. Yeah, I did. So this isn't my fault. But I, 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 I knew it was gonna. This could have as easily been you. I knew what the ramifications were. Yeah. And yeah. We've been talking about the hat for a long time. Yes. Yeah. So. It's fair. No one's arguing. No. So, all right. Back to my rankings. Ah. Uh, Derek's movie. Kevin in the Woods was, I thought was a phenomenal movie. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Just not as, not as up there as Kingsman or Need for Speed. So, Kevin Woods is three. I feel like he's gonna be mirroring me here. I feel like I, I, I got a little bit of, uh, uh, I know I have a little bit of pull with the whole car thing, so I'm like, and, uh, is it Shelby? Yeah, <laughs> and honestly, as soon as we finished Josh's movie, I was like, I think I'm gonna write this one first. And then I got to thinking about it, and I thought back to the first time that I had watched Kingsman, compared to the first time that I watched Need for Speed. And they were pretty equal, but I wanted to go back and watch Kingsman more, and I wanted to have other people watch it more so than what I wanted to of Need for Speed. And so, Need for Speed, or, yeah, Need for Speed second. Josh, why were the final points? Uh, so in last place, uh, with 15 points, still no Tusk, thank god. Uh, Gremlins with 15 points. You deserve better. Just not even mad. mad. <laughs> and in third place, with 11 points, Need for Speed. Which means in second place, King. Mm -hmm. Gavin in the Woods with 10 points. Wow. Which yeah. I think is the most points a second place has ever gotten. 
Thank you, Red. Uh, and, and then Kingsman with a big old quattro. Derek's in second. Oh god, I missed it so much. Oh. Ten fucking episodes. This chair is more comfortable. I just want to point out, this show was my idea. And I have never won until now. For a good reason. <laughs> Fair. I would like to uh, point out that I've never gotten past this chair before. I've never taken past this, so we'll go to that hell. Hold on. <laughs> but, one. Is it, is it more impressive yeah. to get uh, to last 10 episodes and finally get a win, or is it more impressive to... Oh, no, you're definitely more impressive. Thank you. No, <laughs> I have the least impressive stats here, but I will say this, from, in defense of myself, I got a lot of last places the first year we did this. I didn't get last once this year. No Me neither. No one did get last this year. Yeah, yeah I, I think I, I've only gotten last this year. <laughs> so pretty sure that you were out for an episode, and then, yeah, Jordan's only got last this year. <laughs> Ouch. See, now is it no, more impressive? impressive. <laughs> now, is Josh's run more impressive, or is taking 7 out of 10 second places... Yeah, the first 6 second, second places was an impressive run. I'd say... I'd say <laughs> consistency! Looking, at, looking just at uh, Season 1, or is that what... Yeah, season, season If we're looking just at Season 1, uh, mine would have been more impressive, but I didn't take... Because I took... A long first place. Four first, two thirds, I think. Yeah. No. Uh, but no, I only I think I took one first this year. Yeah, because you had you got a third, then you got a win, and then you got a second, and then you got a third. Mm -hmm. So that's consistent. And then this middle, I got a, I got a second, so a third, a third, and a first. Impressive for you, but yeah, yeah. I'm just glad to finally be here and know what this feels like. Join technically too. Right. Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, he's a winner now. Yes, I am. Tenth yeah. episode feels great. This is this is nice. So that means a good season finale. This is a good season finale. So that means Jordan gets punished. Uh, yeah, so I get to pick the next one. Guess what, folks? We're bringing back the hat. Bring back the hat. Everything that we've already put into the hat is going to be still in there, and then we each get to add one. I'm not going to add two. Oh, you're so nice. You're welcome. Uh, so, I yeah. Tell, I want to use my powers. I'm not. I want to be a just king. I get 30 of them. I oh, am, Nicholas Barr. I am the fair and just Ruben. I really enjoyed the hat. I think it might be the only way I'll ever get to win again. The hat? Yeah. Those slips of paper got thrown away. Well, luckily I have it all recorded. Yeah. Okay. I want to see this. You can make sure I have it. Still got it. And I, so I remember what once I put it. We in. will put the hat. Um, <laughs> next up is the hat, and we'll we'll make our picks, and then we'll put a short one. Okay. And and also kind of in in finale here because we don't know where Ryan's gonna be in the. He might be dead. The coming times. It's all only it's all um, People are like, are you gonna keep doing it? And you know what we said. You know, long distance doesn't often work, but maybe it'll work for us. <laughs> Maybe we can get long distance to work out for us. This so. relationship will not die. No, we'll try. We are lightly. <laughs> so for our, because we have eight subscribers, or was it nine? It was either eight or nine yesterday. So for uh, for eight. us and then four other people, mm -hmm. five. So for our fans, plural. All four of you out there. Maybe not like like almost a half dozen of you. There's literally not even dozens of you. <laughs> not even a handful. We'll try to keep it going. Anyway, the hat, next. All right, we have our picks. We have all the ones in the hat that we have not picked before. I can't, I don't know the exact amount of the, it's 21 minus four, oh, shit. 17. That's 17. So there's 17 in there. I thought mine already. Oh, he's like shuffling it up. Just grab a random one. You remember what it was. Oh yeah. It in there. No, it's not a ceremonial. Damn it, Josh. I'll find it, I crossed it out, so it's. There it is. All right. Well, we'll go in order from oh, wins. We still gotta shuffle it more. Calm down, it's fine. Just no. <laughs> God damn it. Harry Potter had to have a snapback. Had to have a snapback. Primrose Everdeen. Okay. All right. Well, I'm first. 
creature feature. A creature feature. It's a movie where it's like a it's bounty like of people Travis. trying to stop a creature of some kind. Jurassic Park. Jaws. You know, there's there's some really good ones. There's some yeah, really there, bad there's ones. There's some good ones. Pterodactyl. So creature feature. It's awful. That is mine. Who's next? Derek. Post two thousand movie where lead actor or actress is dead. Wow, that was very specific. Very specific. I like. I like well, it. I didn't want I'll anyone taking a movie from the 1950s. Yeah, I would have done that probably. That's fair. Uh, I started to write something down, cross it out, and end up writing down musical. Okay. I like it. A documentary. Documentary. Ha! <laughs> Try last place. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> Savage. All right. Someone mix it up. This is terrifying. This is really terrifying. Uh, first to last? Yeah. All right, I'll go first. Because I'm the best. All right, we'll reveal them after. I got one. All right, here we go. Oh wow, this is a Shia LaBeouf movie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nicholas Sparks. No, why? Yes, <laughs> my first one. Yes. No. Was yours still Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I go me and Jordan. It. I picked it for Ryan. So Ryan <laughs> oh man. All right. Here's a go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wish I'd got that one actually. I had a good one in mind. Movie none of us have seen. Yeah, I'm glad that one got picked. That's exciting. Right. Out of the four are mine. Suck it. Nice. <laughs> and then one's run. So Shia LaBeouf movie. What's yours? Uh, Nicholas Sparks. God damn it! Why? Musical. Musical and it movie none of, us that none of us have seen. A musical starring Shia LaBeouf. That none of us have seen. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what'll be. It'll be. Yeah. Derek, what's yours again? I'm sorry. Nicholas Sparks. Nicholas Sparks. Okay, I'm a Nicholas Sparks musical starring Shia LaBeouf. There we go. See, my mind keeps trying to block it because I don't want it to be real. I don't want to have to do this. Oh, I almost put down romance. Like, only romance. You can't have anything else. Does anybody actually like those movies? Yes. Why? Because I like to torture you. <laughs> but it's See, at least with Creature Features, there was some leeway where there's some good ones out there that aren't classic Ryan picks. What musical should I South Park movie. No, that's too enjoyable for you. Bastard. It's the only good one. Anyway, well, that is our picks this time. Um, this is gonna suck. Sorry. God, this is the only. This is gonna be terrible. This is gonna be the worst. This might be the worst week since rom coms. For sure, we're gonna be worse than rom coms, I think. Damn. Thanks. Well. Done. I quit. <laughs> Set in stone. Alright. So Peace out. Done. So it is done. So it is. Hey, Jordan, what happened to your arms? Well, this one got shot off. This one got froze off. All I got left is the head of my shoulders. Ugh. Well, anyway, so you had some intel for me on uh, how Ryan was planning to screw us over in the next round of movies. Damn it, Derek. Made me blow up Jordan. I fucking love Jordan.